We've spent a lot of time this week talking about Scott County Sheriff's Deputy Caleb Conley. He was shot and killed on duty earlier this week. Over the last few days, stories have flooded social media, highlighting how his service, service extended far beyond his sheriff's uniform. Fox 56 Morning anchor Mandy Noel spent time with some of Conley's extended family at Licking Valley, or rather Licking River Outfitters, where Conley volunteered a lot of his time. here at Licking River Outfitters in Cynthiana, Caleb Conley wasn't just a volunteer who spent time here. He wasn't just a deputy, he wasn't just a veteran. He was their brother, he was a member of their family. I asked them each, what's something you would say to somebody who never got the chance to meet him, who may be watching this? You missed out. They've missed out on a true, genuine individual. Hero. Um, very much hero. <clears throat> a life of service to country, to community, to family, and fellow veterans. I need my brother back. That's what I need. Licking River Outfitters serves disabled veterans and terminally ill or disabled children with all expenses paid hunting trips. Whatever. Founder Robin Gassett and manager Chris Griffiths say last year Conley helped build a new hunter's blind on the property dedicated to a fallen soldier. We actually used some metal that came off his house, came off his house and uh, to build the blind. Conley wrote a message inside it. November 14th, 2022, finally sat in the stand that was built with metal from my first home. A part of me will forever be here. Caleb Conley, Operation Iraqi Freedom 0708. And his son Riley signed it too. It was a special trip. This is a photo from that day. I think he knew that when he got out of the service, that he needed to be somewhere like this because these people were his brothers. The walls lined with patches, coins, and medals left by service members who came through and also chose to leave a part of themselves forever. Conley's whole family spent time at LRO, including his wife, Rachel. He loved Rachel from day one, and uh, he, was, he was head over heels for her. His daughter isn't a hunter yet. She's still learning the basics. Caleb uh, taught her how to roll her eyes and flick her hair, and she was going around doing that and showing that off. Griffiths remembers the day Conley was sworn in at the Scott County Sheriff's Office. A very, very happy day for Caleb. He was very happy that day. Caleb had wanted to be in law enforcement pretty much his whole life. They describe him as a bit of a prankster, a friend, a helper. His presence is still here. I got grandkids almost as old as he is, and I looked up to him. But there's, there's no limit to what that what he could have accomplished had he been had he been able to, to hang around. That blind that Conley helped build out in the woods isn't going anywhere, but they are going to build one in the very near future in his honor. In Cynthiana, Mandy Noel, Fox 56 News.